of state legislative coverage on the West Virginia Channel. Our 17 radio towers carry favorites like NPR News and our calling card to the world, Mountain Stage. Together, West Virginia Public Broadcasting is telling West Virginia's story. Your sustaining gift helps protect West Virginia Public Broadcasting. Donate at wvpublic.org.
Welcome to the 2017 History Bowl on the West Virginia Channel. Hello everybody, hello everybody. So who's gonna win this thing? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> so I hope everybody's having a good time. It's been incredibly tight competitions and we're very, very proud of you. So we have a treat. You're gonna to get to meet our first lady, Kathy Justice. I've been working with her since January. She absolutely loves kids and she cares that you get a good education. And she cares that West Virginia is your home 
and it's always going to be your home. So get up on your feet, clap your hands, and welcome Miss Kathy Justice. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here today. Uh, I'm so proud of all of you all. This is just, uh, I can't tell you how happy I am to see so much participation. Uh, you've worked together in, you know, to make a team effort to be here, and that means so very much. I want to thank our great commissioner. Is he wonderful? Let's. <laughs> I'm so impressed with all the things that they do here. His staff, they're just wonderful, and it's always so exciting and so uplifting just to be a part of anything that he does. The events that are sponsored here in the Cultural Center are enthusiastic, and they, they go back to uh, touch history, education, culture, and just make you a whole different human, well-rounded individual. Good afternoon, everyone, again, and welcome back to the theater. The governor and I are so happy that you all are here today. He isn't here. He's uh, in the Morgantown area and all the eastern or the northeastern part of the state today, or he would be here, and he sends his best regards to you all. It was a pleasure to visit with you all earlier. We had some pictures taken. We didn't get with everyone, but a lot of the people and everyone is so exciting. You had your posters, you were happy to be here. You could tell that you had a great camaraderie within your team and your captains and your coaches. And so I just want to thank you all for being that part and letting me be a part of the photo op. Um, I'd like to thank uh, the Secretary of Arts, Gail Manchin. She does a wonderful job and she's here today. So let's give her a hand, please. And let's give our commissioner, uh, Commissioner Reed, another ha hand of applause for being here. <laughs> the Deputy Commissioner, Karen Gresham. And Bethany Klein as well. Thank you all. I'd like to thank the parents of all the students that are here today for helping them prepare for this for your teachers, your superintendents of the counties, which really are the instigators of getting this going in your schools, your teachers and your coaches for getting you possible to be here. I believe this is a competition that you'll always remember. It's a competition and competition isn't always easy because there has to be winners and losers. But remember to be gracious of the people that beat you and that you lose to and the people that win and things like that because it all comes around and that just makes you a better, more rounded individual. So remember all that. You receive a deeper understanding of our state, our culture, our history by being here and by studying all of these things to really understand what history and culture is. Uh, history is such a special object that we need to think about and the subject of history may seem like just dates and facts, but they truly aren't. It's actually very personal when you're thinking about this. When we learn about a person, a place, or a thing, we feel like that we get to know that person in a way for us to learn what the past is about and how the future is going to be that we really can compare the two. History is powerful. It has the power to inspire us, to teach us, to provide us with valuable life lessons in the future. The reason we study history and the reason for making us so enjoy it is because today we are making history. What we're doing here today is part of your past and part of your history as well. What we do here today is shaping your future. And I'm sure you've heard the phrase, history repeats itself. Well, it's not so true. It is really true, isn't it? As philosopher George Santiago said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. We are the future. We are always aware of the actions of our past and then we are bound to repeat those actions. 
To some, history may seem boring, but it is much more than just remembering facts and dates and thinking of those. Studying history encourages us reading comprehension and critical thinking skills for each individual. History is our laboratory, and the past serves to our most vital evidence in the quest to figure out why the people in society act as they do. As students, when you study history, you learn how to assess evidence, to shape accurate interviews of the past, and then interpret why historical events happen and why they happen in the way they do. So you might apply that what you're learning today in your history and what's happened before you in your future. Those are skills you can and will use for a lifetime. West Virginia has such a unique, fascinating state history. And it is our duty as citizens, young and old, to learn about it so we may pass it on to generations to come and help us to ensure and enlighten that our state's future remains bright. I want you to know that I'm proud of each and every one of you and for the hard work that led you here today. You researched, collaborated with others, listened to your teachers and coaches, and studied hard to get here. And I congratulate each and every one of you for that. You are here to demonstrate your abilities as some West Virginians' best and brightest students. And I'm sure you will learn and grow from the experience you are having here today. Whether your team leaves here as a winner or not, or a state champion, I want you to remember how you got here. You worked hard as a team. It's really hard to work as a team and let every individual be a part of that team in their, what they can do best for. So it takes everyone. You just can't do things by yourself, but when you work as a team, you get so much more done and you will accomplish a great goal in life. I wish you all the best of luck for the remaining competition and all of your future endeavors. I leave you with a quote from a writer in Gordo Galileo. History never says goodbye. History says, see you later. So see you all later and thank you and good luck to everyone. Thank you all. Thank you, Madam First Lady. So guys, you know the tradition I'm sure you've heard, right? What do we do? We sing West Virginia Hills this morning, right? So now we stand on our feet and we sing our other state song, right? Are we ready? Did we practice? Country Roads. And you all need to help me with the words, okay? Hey, Miss Cox, how's your teams doing? Are you happy? You better be. You got great kids. Okay. All right, here we go. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. I hear her voice in the morning as she calls me. The radio reminds me of my home far away. And driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday, yesterday. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home. Country roads take me home, down country roads. Okay, great job, you all. Is Matthew out there, Matthew? So does everybody know their next place where they need to go for matches? Okay, so we need to go out and look, but let me just say, Madam Secretary, you wanna say goodbye or anything real quick? 
Do you want to have anything else to say to the kids? Madam Secretary. Okay. And Madam Secretary, thank you so much for being with us this morning and again. And kids, I, I tell you, you're going to laugh at me, but you all laugh at me all through the years doing this. But I want to tell you, our mission, and I, and I, I, I keep on remembering because my cabinet secretary, when she interviewed for her job, she talked about our, our mission is to protect, to promote, to present, and to preserve. And our mission statement, a division of culture and history, our mission at the Division of Culture and History is to identify everything about West Virginia, to identify, preserve, protect, promote, and present the ideas, the arts, and the artifacts of West Virginia, building pride in our past and confidence in our future. And we've been with you kids off and on for two months. And you are all of those things. You are our past by studying it. You're here in the present teaching us. And you are our future. Remember what we talked about. You can do anything. You can be anything. And we are here to help you in any way you can. So do your best. You earned your way to be here. You're already winners. It's all about doing your best. So let's go have a great time and go history bowlers. Let's go. Thank you so much for being here. You are watching the 2017 History Bowl on the West Virginia Channel. Nineteen twenty-eight, the Silver Bridge opening ceremony. It was the first chance for the people of Point Pleasant to see up close the construction of their new suspension bridge that crossed the Ohio. Instead of long strands of steel cables, the roadway was suspended from huge solid steel eye bars. They were like links in a giant bicycle chain. Almost 40 years later, at the height of five o'clock traffic, one of these eye bars broke, causing the entire bridge to collapse. 31 vehicles fell with the bridge. 46 people lost their lives. The rescue and recovery effort went on for more than two weeks. The Silver Bridge collapse led to national legislation that began a bridge inspection and safety program. 1956, the National Radio Astronomy Observatory is founded in Green Bank. Radio astronomy was a new science in the 1950s. The National Science Foundation needed a place relatively free of radio signals near the East Coast to build a radio observatory. They chose a sheltered valley near the small town of Green Bank in Pocahontas County. The National Radio Observatory at Green Bank is home to the Robert C. Byrd Green Bank Telescope and several other large instruments. The telescopes at Green Bank have been part of many scientific discoveries, like finding pulsars and detecting elements in space. Scientific teams from all over the world use the telescopes. The future of the observatory is uncertain. The National Science Foundation issued a report in 2012 calling for the organization to defund Green Bank. 1970, a plane carrying Marshall University's football team crashes, killing all on board. The Thundering Herd football team lost a heartbreaking game to East Carolina University on November 14, 1970. The team, along with their coaches and some boosters, then boarded a Southern Airways DC-9 for a chartered flight back to West Virginia. The plane crashed while on final approach to Tri-State Airport, less than a mile west of the runway. All 75 people on board were killed. The National Transportation Safety Board never determined an exact cause for the crash. Many of the Marshall boosters killed were prominent citizens of Huntington. The university itself struggled with the decision to even play football again. The story of the crash and Marshall's recovery have been the subject of a major Hollywood movie. 1921, the Battle of Blair Mountain. 
An estimated 10,000 coal miners marched or piled into trains and trucks to go deep into the Logan County mountains in support of the Union. The miners, many of them World War I veterans, ended up in a deadly four-day battle against deputies, state police, volunteers, and coal company forces. But when President Harding sent in federal troops with mortars, chemical weapons, and bombers from Langley Field, the miners surrendered, many not wanting to fire on American soldiers. It would be 12 years before the Union finally had successes there, but the courage of the miners became a lasting symbol of pride for those that followed. Today, another battle focuses on Blair Mountain, over preservation of the mountain as a historic site, or to surface mine the mountain for its coal. 1963, Cass Scenic Railroad opens. Cass, in Pocahontas County, like many towns in West Virginia, was founded as a company town. Lumber mills in Cass processed the virgin spruce and hemlock trees being cleared from nearby mountains. Logs traveled to Cass on steep logging railroads. Soon after logging and milling operations ceased in 1960, the state of West Virginia purchased several miles of the old logging railroad. Cass Scenic Railroad, part of the state park system, now includes 11 miles of track and most of the original town of Cass. The park operates steam-driven Shea locomotives, which pull converted logging cars up an 11% grade to bald knob providing a unique experience to tourists from all over the world. West Virginia Public Broadcasting is West Virginia's only PBS and NPR station. What does that mean? Well, it means 10 television towers to broadcast PBS programming, including Masterpiece and PBS NewsHour. Children's educational programming, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on our new WVPB PBS Kids channel and 600 hours a year of state legislative coverage on the West Virginia Channel. Our 17 radio towers carry favorites like NPR News and our calling card to the world, Mountain Stage. Together, West Virginia Public Broadcasting is telling West Virginia's story. Your sustaining gift helps protect West Virginia Public Broadcasting. Donate at wvpublic.org.
doesn't move. We're one minute early. Is it okay if we start, Emma? No. Okay. Let me see. I've got my glasses. All right. Do I need to read the rules? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you want me to read the rules? <laughs> uh <-huh>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Joey Wiseman. Joey, stand up one second. You all, this is the uh, executive director of secondary education in West Virginia. And Joey is always there for us. We, he does Golden Horseshoe. You know, Joey. 69 of your 219 golden horseshoes are history bowlers. You can say thank you, Commissioner. Well, thank you. <laughs> Joey helps also. So Joey does golden horseshoe, oh social studies fair. Social studies fair this year was amazing. We had to judge nine entries and, and I tell you, it was so difficult. They were so good, weren't they, Joey? This was just great. Well, okay. And then Joey helps us with Constitution Day, but he's always there, penny for pound. And I really appreciate Joey West, Joey Wiseman. He is a Boone County boy, and he's just a good old boy. Joey, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. We're ready to play History Bowl. They're going to make me read the rules, so I will do my, yeah. Yeah. I will do my cliff note versions of that. Oh, thank you. So Great. here's what well, I have to do because I have to get all the names again because I know Hunter, and I know Gabriella. <laughs> And I know Daniel, but you know, I just forgot your name because I have to, you know, read all the, the instructions. It's Sarah. Sarah? It's, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Sarah. <laughs> Where's Angel? She's down there. Yeah. Is she calm? Where's Danny get? Where's Danny? Okay, coaches, here we go. Okay, so the most important thing to remember is if you buzz in before I finish reading the question and you do not get the correct answer, I read the entire question to the other team. And uh, I think that's all we have to do. I've just got to test the buzzers, right? Uh -huh. Let's see, let's start over here. Connor, how about you? Madison, Reagan, Todd. You are so rotten. Where's your, I just saw your dad. He is so rotten, he must take after you. 
No. Bless her heart. Okay. All right. Okay. Hunter. Daniel. <laughs> Gabby. How come you all only have three on your team? <laughs> okay, Miss Sarah. All right, you guys ready? No. Are we ready? <laughs> Let's get started. Here we go. Okay, guys. Let me get the pages ready. Are you ready down there, judges? No. Here we go. Which Boone County native's life was chronicled? Yes. Jessica White. That is correct. In what present day West Virginia County did Fort Neely? Yes. Berkeley. That is absolutely correct. What is West Virginia State? Charleston? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> what is, let me read the entire question. What is West Virginia State animal? Yes, Miss Reagan. Black bear. You're absolutely correct. What is the term used to describe the process? Yes. Flint napping? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What is the term used to describe the process of replacing workers with machines? Yes. Mechanization. That is correct, right, Deborah? Okay, thank you. Oh, here we go. How many members serve in, yes. 34. How'd you get that? <laughs> in the state senate, that's absolutely correct. Here we go. What is the name of West Virginia's state Fossil coral. I'm sorry, incorrect. What is the name of West Virginia State fossil? Yes. Uh, Megalonx Jeffersoni. I'm glad I don't have to say that. Yes, and <laughs> we would take ground sloth too. Very, okay. very good. Okay, what was the name of the slave who helped defend Fort Donnelly? Yes. Dick Pointer. That is absolutely correct. In 2016, this was the largest private employer. Yes. WVU Medicine. Yes, very good. That's absolutely correct. What is the name of the Fayette County site that was dedicated as a, yes? Hawk's Nest. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What is the name of the Fayette County site that was dedicated as a 4-H camp for West Virginia's African-American youth in 1942? Yes, ma'am. Camp Washington Carver. You're absolutely correct. It is the first African-American 4-H camp in the world. Okay, here we go, you guys ready? What was the name of the explorer who descended the Ohio? Yes. Uh, Celeron de Blainville. Yes, you're absolutely correct. In which county is Cass Scenic? Yes. Pocahontas. You're absolutely correct. Who was the Fairmont native who composed the WVU pep song, Fight Mount, yes. Fuzzy Knight. Fight, 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 Mountaineers. We're here to cheer for you. That one, right? Okay, very good. Okay, in what community did the single largest cat? Yes. Miss Reagan. Chester. You. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. In what community? Yes. Harper's Ferry. That is correct. The single largest capture of Union troops during the Civil War. Okay, here we go. In which month does West, yes. July. That is absolutely correct. It's highest temperature of 74 degrees average. What Kanawha County resident became the first woman elected to the West? Yes. Gates. You're absolutely correct, Miss Sarah. How about this one? What is the minimum age? Eight, yes. 25. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. What is the minimum age a person must be before they can serve in the West? Yes. 18. That is right, in the West Virginia House of Delegates. Which bridge designed by Charles Charles Ellett Jr. Yes. The Wheeling Suspension Bridge. You're absolutely correct. How about this one? What, what, what river is formed by joining the Tiger? Yes. Cheat River. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What river is formed by joining the Tiger and West Fork Rivers in Marion County? Yes, Connor. Monongahela. That is correct, right, Deborah? Okay. What was the name of the Fairview native who served as the University of Michigan's head football coach? Yes. Yost. That is correct. The Delta Tau Delta fraternity, yes. Bethany. You're absolutely correct. Was the Delta Tau Delta fraternity was founded at, at Bethany. This Wood County business was, a, yes. Paul's chocolate. Absolutely, have you had them? I don't think so. Angel. <laughs> Honey, they're fabulous. Okay, honey, all right. I uh, will talk to Frank, okay? All right, here we go. Uh, how about this? What was the name of the Confederate killed in Randolph County in 1861 who was a former owner of Mount, yes? John Augustine Washington. 
That is correct. Okay, next. On which river can the Sutton Dam be? Yes. The Elk River. You're absolutely correct, Daniel. What national organization selected a site? Yes. Boy Scouts of America. You're absolutely correct in Fayette County. Okay, how many justices served? Yes. Five. You're absolutely correct. What was the name of the Milton native who was the subject of, yes. Hanke. You're absolutely correct. In which county does the Pocatalico River, yes. Roan. You're absolutely correct. What is the name of the Berkeley Springs home, yes. Quifant. You're absolutely correct, Reagan. Okay, how about this one? Which baseball hall of famer who holds, yes. That's absolutely correct. Dad, you've been working with him. Yeah, clap for him, Dad. Go ahead. Okay, last question this round. Oh, my gosh. Do you realize they've gotten every question right? Oh, my goodness. You guys are giving me a heart attack. Here we go. In which county is the Hanging Rock Rap? Yes. Monroe. You're absolutely correct. Give him a big hand, you all. What do you think, Madam First Lady? Aren't they amazing? Do you know why, you know why I work so hard for these kids? They're going to pay my retirement one day. They are my future. Oh, we love them. We really do. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? So, who's captain over here? Oh, Miss Sarah. Who would have known? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I hate that I didn't get to see you all in the regionals. Yeah, me too. I know, but I did come and see you. At your, <laughs> I did come and see you at your school, though, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. It was great. Okay, so Sarah, you're, you know what happens over here. You're the I, boss. I do know. I'm the boss. Okay. You sure? That's right. right. You sure? And you answer all the questions. Yeah. Unless you want to designate somebody. I don't. Oh. <laughs> April. I did it on April. purpose. <laughs> 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 it's okay. We'll just do it together. Okay. So, that Reagan, are you still the captain over here, or are you going to let Todd be the captain? Sorry, Dad, I tried. Okay, so, Reagan, you're going first. And if for some reason, Sarah, that Reagan doesn't get the correct answer, you get to steal it. Okay? But I'm you know what? Right. That works both <laughs> ways, right, Reagan? And here's the most important thing. I will read the question once to the first team. If the second team wants to repeat it, you say, Commissioner. Would you please repeat the question? So, Sarah, what do you think the two most important words are in that sentence? You didn't teach them that, did you, Angel? Reagan? I took, are your parents here? You have raised a fabulous, thank you so much. I wouldn't sit next to Todd's dad, though. Okay, are you all ready? Okay, Reagan, you're going first. Oh my gosh, this is so close. Here we go. Reagan, in which county is the McClinic Wildlife Management Area located? Oh, come on, honey, there's 55. Just take one guess. And, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Sarah? I'm going to have to designate red two. I thought you didn't like to designate. Daniel, you're not red to your Daniel to me, okay? Mason. You're absolutely correct. How about this, Sarah? In which county is Stony River Reservoir located? Once again, Dan Daniel. Daniel. Grant. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Miss Reagan? What was the name of the weird native who wrote under the, the synonym David Anthony? You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Sarah? What is the name of the Charleston board humorist who creates droodles? I'm gonna designate Gabby. Gabby, Gabriella. Price. Price. That's absolutely correct. Uh, Reagan, what is the name of the ancient river that was responsible for the creation of the new river gorge during the ice age? Five point yellow four. Tays. You're absolutely correct. Thank you there, Connor. Okay, here we go, Sarah. What is the name of the glacial body of water that covered a large area of northern West Virginia during the Ice Age? I designate Daniel. Daniel. Lake Monongahela. That's correct pronunciation too, right? Deborah, okay, good. Okay. Reagan, in what year was an amendment added to the state's constitution to allow women to serve on juries? Oh, 
I need an answer, please. A point. Yellow Connor? Four. 1956. You're absolutely correct. How about this, Sarah? In what year were Lost World Caverns and Organ Cave System given National Natural Landmark status? I designate Daniel. Daniel? 1978. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I point one. Uh, 1973. You're absolutely correct, Todd. How do you like that, Dad? Okay, how about this one? I love this question. In which community is the West Virginia Strawberry Festival held? Buchanan. You're absolutely correct. Hey, Miss Sarah. Oh, this is a good one, too. In which community is the annual Wood Chopping Festival held? I designate Daniel. Daniel. Webster Springs. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Miss Reagan? What was the name of the Confederate volunteer who became the first amputee of the Civil War and later founded one of the largest prosthetic device manufacturers in the world? Five point yellow four. Connor. Hanger. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Miss Sarah? Who was the first African American from West Virginia to reach the rank of Brigadier General? I designate Gabby Greer. You're absolutely correct, Gabriella. How about this one? In connection with what industry did Belgian immigrants come to Kanawha and Harrison counties around 1900? Glassmaking. Okay, it's absolutely correct. Okay, here we go. For what type of business was the Quaker State Windmill Building built, Miss Sarah? I designate Daniel. Daniel. Service station. What did you say? A service station. I can take that, yes, very good. Okay, who was the McDowell teacher who became the first African-American president of the West Virginia Education Association, Reagan? Smith. That is correct. Miss Sarah, what is the name of the Elkins native who was appointed U.S. Commissioner of Education in 1969? That would be James Edward Allen, Jr. Very good. How about this one, Miss Reagan? What Raleigh County community was named for the first chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? Beckley. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Miss Sarah? Um, please, Commissioner, could you repeat the question? Is your mom and dad here? They are, they're back there. You raised a good <laughs> daughter, thank you so much. <laughs> Wave at them. Yeah. Okay, right. okay, I'll repeat it again. Here we go, what is the name of the, oh, I'm sorry, what Raleigh County community was named for the first chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? Bradley. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, uh, Sarah? Which Summers County community was named for a balloonist who landed in the area in the 1830s. I designate Daniel. Daniel. Clayton. You're absolutely correct. Reagan, which Charleston class AAA baseball team won an international league title in 1977? I point yellow one, Charles that, Charleston, Charlie. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Sarah? Which bird is depicted on West Virginia's specialty wildlife license plate? designate Hunter. Hunter. Rose-breasted Grosbeak. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Miss Reagan? What new species of, how do I say that word, Deborah? Crustacean. Crustacean found <laughs> in the Tug Valley is named Cambarus Hatfieldi for the Hatfield family. I need to answer. Tug Valley Crayfish? Tug Valley Crayfish? Yeah, we'll take it. There you go. Very good. Oh, here we go. This is a great question. Are you ready, Miss Sarah? I am. What is the name of the animal with the Latin name Glaucumus sabrinus fuscus that the U.S. Department of Interior removed from the endangered species list in 2010? I, I need an answer. The West Virginia Northern Flying Squirrel. Yes, and thank goodness they removed it. Now we can finish Porter H. Isn't that wonderful? Here we go. All right, here we go. Which Brook County man served as the first state treasurer of West Virginia, Miss Reagan? F point yellow four. Tar. That is absolutely correct. 
How about this? What was the name of the first African American in West Virginia to publish a novel, Sarah? It does say Big Abby, McHenry Jones. You're absolutely correct. Oh, here we go. What two West Virginia counties were formed in 1850, Reagan? Raleigh and Wyoming. That's absolutely correct. How about this, Sarah? What two West Virginia counties were formed in 1788? I need an answer. Um, I designate Daniel. Daniel. Canal and Pendleton. You're absolutely correct. How about this? What was the name of the Fairmont native whose first novel, The Corpse Grows a Beard, was published in 1940? Five point yellow three. Sure. You're absolutely correct. Sarah, what was the name of the willing woman, woman who wrote the novel upon which the 1949 movie Rosanna McCoy was based? I designate Gabby. Gab Alberta Pierce and Hannum. You're absolutely correct. What was the name of the railroad that was completed when the last spike was driven at Hawk's Nest in 1873? I point yellow one, Canal on Michigan. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, Sarah. I designate Daniel. Daniel. Chesapeake and Ohio. You're absolutely correct. And the last question. What is the name of the Marshall County site that marks the spot where the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad was completed to the Ohio River in 1852. Once again, I designate Daniel. Daniel. Rosby's Rock. All right, guys, give him a big hand. They got every question right. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. High five, guys. You are watching the 2017 History Bowl on the West Virginia Channel. Eighteen seventy two, Harper's publishes The Mountains. America couldn't get enough of the illustrated stories from a man named Port Crayon, but this fictional character was the alter ego of David Hunter Strouther, whose creative life spanned the decades before and after the Civil War. Strouther wrote in a romantic, fictionalized style, but it was based on his real-life journeys. The Mountains was a 10-part series of articles in Harper's new monthly magazine. It introduced America to West Virginia. Readers met the rugged, salt-of-the-earth mountaineers and hard-working, savvy West Virginia women. He took us to awe-inspiring and mystical places and shaped the view of America's new state, West Virginia. We were trying to break through a line of pillboxes, and that's where we got stopped. We lost a tremendous number of Marines as a result of that. And when my uh, company commander asked me if I thought I might be able to do something about some of those pillboxes, I said, I'll try. So he assigned me four riflemen to protect me as I would approach a pillbox. Two of those Marines that day got killed. Anytime I wear the Medal of Honor, I don't wear it for what I did. I wear it for those, particularly those two Marines, who gave their life, really, protecting mine. 1933, West Virginia's first CCC camp is opened. Into West Virginia's mountains within the last few years has gone a new force, the Civilian Conservation Corps, to make this recreation resource available to all people. The Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC, was one of President Franklin Roosevelt's first New Deal recovery programs. Young men joined the CCC and were put to work doing soil conservation and public works projects. There were 67 CCC camps in West Virginia, serving 55,000 men. A lot of CCC work was done developing West Virginia's state parks. In projects such as this, and in the great construction program throughout the state, 
we find assurance that we are building a strong foundation for a better West Virginia. 1869, the first settlers arrive in Helvetia. From the Clarksburg Railroad Station, 15 Swiss immigrants walked four days to get to their new wilderness home. They named it Helvetia, after the Latin name for Switzerland. Although the terrain may have reminded them of home, these were people new to the pioneering life and in those early years struggled to survive. A decade later, Helvetia's population had grown to 400. It became a farming community, but also attracted many skilled craftsmen. It was a close-knit, self-sufficient culture, rich in traditions. Today, it survives because of the Swiss culture and the beautiful isolation of Helvetia. 2009, Robert C. Byrd becomes the longest serving member of Congress. A young, fiddle-playing politician from Raleigh County was elected to the State House of Representatives in 1946. Robert C. Byrd would go on to devote the rest of his life, over 60 years, to representing the people of West Virginia. Robert C. Byrd became a United States Senator in 1958. He would serve as a Senator longer than anyone ever has. Byrd, a great defender of the Constitution, died while serving as West Virginia's senior Senator on June 28, 2010. This Constitution that I hold in my hand is the instrument, there it is, that provides, yes, for what that flag represents. West Virginia Public Broadcasting is West Virginia's only PBS and NPR station. What does that mean? Well, it means 10 television towers to broadcast PBS programming, including Masterpiece and PBS NewsHour. Children's educational programming, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on our new WVPB PBS Kids channel, and 600 hours a year of state legislative coverage on the West Virginia channel. Our 17 radio towers carry favorites like NPR News and our calling card to the world, Mountain Stage. Together, West Virginia Public Broadcasting is telling West Virginia's story. Your sustaining gift helps protect West Virginia Public Broadcasting. Donate at wvpublic.org.
that if I am reading a question and you buzz in and you get an incorrect answer and you and I haven't completed the question, I will read the question to the other team incomplete. And we got to test the buzzers. And my security chief told me to stand up or be higher because all he sees this is in my face. Like, I really care. I mean, really. It's about the kids. Okay. Elia, so you're the captain over here. Why don't you go first? Hunter. Austin. What's to start with? A. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hunter, Elia, Austin. What is that? I'm sorry. Alexis, how can I forget that's such a pretty name? Are you Greek? No. Okay, all right, pretty. Alexis, hi. Watch, do your buzzer for me. Okay, Samuel, you're still the captain over here, right? Okay, you want to hit that buzzer? Okay, then who, where do you want me to go next? How about Alyssa, okay? Is that okay? Brody and Miss Maddie, since you're the closest one to me. How's that? Okay, are we ready, everybody? Deborah Basham, are you ready down there? Okay. All right, kids, just look this way. Don't even look down there at that, that end, because she'll give you a heart attack. She the does light, to me all the time. Light. I know, it is, okay. And oh my gosh, I've got it in stereo. I've got April, whose name is really Angel. And then I got Miss Melody <laughs> Cox. All right, here we go. You guys are great coaches, and we appreciate what you do for your team. Did you hear that, Miss Cox? Okay, here we go, are we ready? Which noted labor leader was born? Yes. Mother Mary Harris, Mother Jones. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Which noted labor leader was born and raised in Wheeling and served as the president of the United Auto Workers? Yes. Roofer. That is correct. In which Marshall County town was a Falker aircraft factory? Yes. Uh, number three. Glendale. I mean, you're absolutely correct. What is West Virginia State fish? Yes. Brook trout. You're absolutely correct. Which film recounts the story of what? Yes. Hidden figures. Bravo. It's absolutely correct. In which West Virginia county can Watoga? Yes. Pocahontas. You're absolutely correct. In 2004, which Charleston native became the first woman to be elected? Yes. Brody. Ireland. You're absolutely correct. In which community was the last state-owned liquor store? Yes. Hamlin. You're absolutely correct. In which county can Camp Goodluck the site? Yes. Madison. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. In which county can Camp Goodluck the site of the first county 4-H camp in the United States? Yes, sir. Webster. I'm sorry, the incorrect. The correct answer is Randolph. How about this one? During the administration of which West Virginia governor was the modern budget? Yes. Smith. That is correct. In which city was the state capital located in 18? Yes. Wheeling. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Charleston. You all should listen. No. In which city was the state capital located in 1860? Anybody want to take a guess? Yes. Richmond. That is correct. And it's my favorite question. I ask it every time before we start. You asked it, you asked it this morning. I know I did. You got it right that time. April, whose real name is Angel, they should listen to me. <laughs> yes, they do. I'm sorry. Don't pick on them. Okay, guys, let's keep on going. You guys are doing great. In which West Virginia county is the West Virginia dandelion vessel? Yes. Greenbrier. You're absolutely correct. What was the name of the Montgomery native who wrote the rock and roll classic? Yes. Ellison. That is correct. Some kind of wonderful. Okay, how about this? What is the shape of Albert's Chapel? Yes. Octagonal. That's right, in Calhoun County. Very good. Which baseball legend named Stan the Man? Yes. Dan Musel. That is correct. To what community did Governor Francis Pierpont or yes? Cerrito. That's absolutely correct. The seat of Wayne County be moved. How about this? What was the last county? to be created, yes. Webster. That's absolutely correct, oh. before West Virginia became a separate state. What is the name of the West Virginia native who became the highest ranking, yes? Martin Delaney. You're absolutely correct, African American in the Civil War. What is the name of the athletic conference that, yes? Big 12. You're absolutely correct, they joined in 2011. By what name is the natural asphalt, yes? Grahamite. Absolutely correct. Who was the tenor saxophonist? Yes. 
Chewberry. You're absolutely correct. From the bank, in what community did it? Get? Yes. Weston. You're absolutely correct. What is the name of the decree issued by King George? Yes. Proclamation of 1763. Absolutely. How many electoral college votes? Yes. Five. That is absolutely correct. Open in 1934 to help. Yes. Boom. That is correct. What Democratic state senator ran in a, yes. Kennedy. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What Democratic state senator ran in a write-in campaign for governor in the general election of 1992? Yes. Harvey? Charlotte Pritt is the correct answer. How about this, which West Virginia golf course is, cons yes. Oakhurst Links. That, pardon me? Oakhurst Links. That is absolutely correct. In which county is Edwards run, what, yes. Hampshire. That is correct. From 1901 to 1978, the University of Charleston was known by what name? Yes. Mountain State University. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Yes, sir. Morris Harvey College. That's correct. And you know where it started? The most important town in West Virginia. It is the village of Barbersville, my home town. <laughs> okay, here we go. Good. Here we go. Who was the first high school football player to win the, yes? Donahue. Absolutely correct. The Stidahar, formerly Hunt Award, and the Huff Award in the same season. Okay, last question. What is the name of the marker that was placed at the headwaters? Yes. Fairfax Town. You're absolutely correct. Give him a big hand, you all. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Come on. Formation. Okay. Samuel. You're still the captain, right, sir? Yeah. Okay, so you're in charge, correct? So he says. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? So Nothing. Sam answers all the questions no. unless he de designates you to do mm -hmm. so. Yes. Okay, and then Elia is the, ca is the captain over here. And Elia, you will go first. Now, Sam, if for some reason Elia and his team doesn't get the, the question correct, you have a chance to steal, but Elia, that works both ways. And Elia, you're the boss over here. You answer all the questions unless you want to designate somebody. Most important thing is I will read the question one time. If the second team wants it, you will say, Commissioner, would you please repeat the question? Samuel, have you learned the two most important words in that sentence yet? No. Commissioner and please. Yeah. What? Commissioner and please. Buddy, you are fast. That is good. Thank yeah, you. I wouldn't go far away from your team. Yeah. Okay, so are we ready? I'd get lost. Oh, no. So Sam, Elia's going to go first, okay? Mr. Elia, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Elia, what was the name of the first woman appointed Secretary of State in West Virginia? Holt. That is absolutely correct. What was the name of the first West Virginia woman to be appointed a federal court judge, Samuel? I designate Red 2. Brody? Spears. I'm sorry? Spears. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I designate Yellow 2. Hallinan? That is correct. Mm -hmm. How about this one? In which community did an explosion at a Wheeling Steel Corporation coal mine kill 119 miners, making it the third worst mining disaster in our state's history. Benwood. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Samuel? Which community was the site of a scaffold collapse at a Monong Mon Mon Monongahela Power Company station that killed 51 construction workers? I designate Red One. Willows Island. That, that is absolutely correct. How about this one? In which county, Elia, is Mount Storm Lake located? I definitely tried Yellow Four. Grant. That is correct. How about this one, Sam? In which county is the Lance Farm and Nature Preserve located? Watsu. That is correct. Um, Elia, which 19th century Lewis County landmark was designed by Baltimore architect Richard Snowden Andrews? Lewis County Courthouse. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Sam. I designate Red Four. Weston State Hospital. That is correct. How about this one, Sam? What is the name of the old stone house built in the 1820s along the Northwestern Turnpike in Preston County by Henry Grimes? 
I designate red one. Graceland. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, Elia. I designate yellow four. Red Horse Tavern. You're absolutely correct. How about this, Elia? In which community did the Diamond Department Store open its eating facilities to African Americans on May 3rd, 1960? I designate yellow four. Charleston. That is correct. Uh, in what community did Israeli and Syrian leaders hold peace talks in January 2000, Sam? I designate red two. Shepherdstown. That is correct. Uh, what was the name, Elia, of the Tyler County native who tied for the most National League wins in 1921? What's Brown. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Sam? Can you please repeat? Yeah, absolutely. What was the name of the Tyler County native who tied for the most National League wins in 1921? I designate red one. Gabby? You mean Maddie? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Where's, where'd I get Gabby? Oh, she, sorry. Oh, just, sorry. Brett? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Do you know? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Wilbur, see, you got me thrown off. Wilbur Cooper is the correct answer. How about this one, Sam? What is the name of the Wood County native who played Major League Baseball from 1908 to 1918 before entering the Army during World War I? Sorry, I designate Maddie. Red One. Maddie. Barkley? Oh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect, sweetheart. How about this one? That is correct. How about this one? Elia, Stewart Creek native Carl Keith was the co-inventor of what vehicle emissions control device? A dozen ideal four. Three-way catalytic converter. Yep, that's correct. How about this one, Sam? What invention was patented by Mill Point resident James A.E. Gibbs in the 1850s? I designate red four. Alyssa. The chain stitch sewing machine. You're absolutely correct. Which West Virginia county was named for the Revolutionary War hero nicknamed the Old Wagoneer? I designate yellow one. Morgan. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Sam? Which West Virginia county was named for the American political leader who served as U.S. Vice President from 1825 to 1832? Calhoun. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Elia? The documentary poem, The Book of the Dead by Muriel Rue Kaiser portrays which West Virginia disaster? I does not yellow four. Sago Man disaster. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I does not get red four. Um, the death of hundreds of laborers to silicosis. It is the Hawk's Nest Tunnel disaster is the correct answer. How about this one, Sam? Which famous event was described in Theron Crawford's An American Vendetta, published in 1889? I designate Red Four. Hatfield McCoy feud. You're absolutely correct. Hey, Elia, how about this one? What was the name of the writer director from Dodgers County, whose credits include the films Dream Killer and No Drums, No Bugles, and episodes from the television series Gunsmoke and Rawhide? I designate Yellow Two. Where? That is correct. What is the name of the Elkins native who made the, his film debut in Alfred Hitchcock's The Wrong Man? I designate Red Four. Will Hare. You're absolutely correct. By what name, Elia, associated with the man who visited it in 1781, was Stratosphere Balloon Cave known for many years? Asbury Cave. You're absolutely correct. Sam, what statue in Huntington was created by sculptor Gutzon Borglum. I designate Red Four. A statue of John Henry. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, Elia. I designate Yellow Two. Huntington. I need more information, please. A statue of Huntington. <laughs> I need a more complete name. His first name. A statue of John Huntington. The correct answer is Collis. P. Huntington. How about this one? What is the common name of the animal with the Latin name Daspus bellus, for which fossils have been found as far north as Berkeley County? Salamander? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Sam? Designate red one. Maddie? 
Armadillo. That is absolutely correct. How about this one, Sam? This common name for Sanandra hispidula, a flowering plant from the mint family, was proposed by Montegalia County native Earl Corr in 1974. I designate Rib Ford. Guyan dot beauty. That's it. Very good. Uh, Elia, what was the name of the Morgantown native who commanded the USS New York during the Spanish-American War and later served as president of the Naval War College? Quick. I beg your pardon? Quick. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I designate Reb Ford. Chadwick. That is correct. How about this one? Which Monroe County native was immortalized in Elbert Hubbard's classic, A Message to Garcia? I designate Reb Ford. Andrew S. Rowan. You're absolutely correct. Elia, what did the legislature adopt in 2004 as the state locomotive? Answer must be exact. I designate Yale for. Cass Scenic Railroad, Shay number five, steam you're, locomotive. You're absolutely correct. What did the legislature in, adopt in 2013 as the state firearm? Answer must be exact, Samuel. I designate red one. Yes, ma'am. Hall Flintlock Model 1819. You're absolutely correct. Elia, what is the name of the state's first wildlife management area that was created in 1938? Elk River Wildlife Management Area. You're absolutely correct. And the last question. What, with 31 acres, Sam, what is the smallest of West Virginia's wildlife management areas? Valley Bend Wetlands. Absolutely correct. Give them a big hand, you all. Maddie, hey, I'm sorry that you confused. I apologize. You're great. Good job, guys. You are watching the 2017 History Bowl on the West Virginia Channel. In 1941, the battleship West Virginia sinks in Pearl Harbor. The Mountaineer Battle Wagon was the pride of the American fleet before World War II. The mighty USS West Virginia was over 600 feet long and had eight giant 16-inch guns. On December 7, 1941, the West Virginia was struck by two bombs and seven torpedoes. The battleship sank in 40 feet of water and over 100 of her crewmen perished. The USS West Virginia was refloated in May of 1942. Over the next two years, the ship was repaired and upgraded, finally returning to battle in late 1944. The Wee V, as she was known, supported many of the Pacific Island battles that followed, earning five battle stars. Battleship 48, the USS West Virginia, was decommissioned in 1947. 1930, work begins on the Hawk's Nest Tunnel. It would be three miles long, and it would divert the New River to a hydroelectric power plant. But the construction is remembered as America's worst industrial disaster. One researcher counted 764 lives lost. My husband, Cecil Jones, Died of working in the Hawk's Nest Tunnel, contracted silicosis. The men were tunneling through solid silica, and the dust destroyed lungs through a disease called acute silicosis. I lost three sons from working in the tunnel of silicosis, and each and every day that I worked in that tunnel, I had to carry off from 10 to 14 men was overcome by the dust. Many were buried in unmarked graves. The majority of those who died were African American. 1959, Jerry West leads the Mountaineers to the national championship game. The most famous player to wear the golden blue, Jerry West is one of basketball's all-time greats. He led the Mountaineers to three of their greatest seasons on the hardwood. The 1959 season saw the Mountaineers make a deep run in the NCAA tournament. Jerry West scored 38 points and grabbed 15 rebounds to lead the Mountaineers over Louisville in the Final Four. West scored 28 points with 11 rebounds against California in the national championship game, but it wasn't quite enough. 
West Virginia lost by a single point, 71 to 70. Jerry West went on to play 14 seasons for the Los Angeles Lakers in the NBA. West literally became an icon when his silhouette was chosen as the NBA's logo. 1947, Chuck Yeager breaks the sound barrier. Chuck Yeager was born in the Lincoln County town of Myra in 1923 and grew up in nearby Hamlin. As a fighter pilot in World War II, Yeager was shot down over Nazi-occupied France but managed to escape with the help of the French resistance. He went on to become a decorated fighter ace. After the war, Yeager became a test pilot and was selected to fly the experimental Bell X-1 to research high-speed flight. He nicknamed the plane Glamorous Glennis in honor of his wife. Chuck Yeager launched the era of supersonic flight when the X-1 rocketed past the speed of sound on October 14, 1947. Yeager went on to break many altitude and speed records as well as commanding Air Force units all over the world. 1924, Jesse Donald Knotts is born in Morgantown. He graduated from Morgantown High School and WVU. Don Knotts started in show business while still in high school, making money with a ventriloquist act. While entertaining troops in World War II, he gave up the dummy in favor of straight comedy. Knotts' role as Deputy Barney Fife on The Andy Griffith Show became iconic and earned the actor five Emmy Awards. Knotts went on to star in several movies. He returned to series television in 1979 as the lovable Mr. Furley on Three's Company. He also voiced several cartoon characters later in his career. Don Knotts died in 2006. He is remembered in Morgantown with a star on High Street, and a local highway bears the actor's name. West Virginia Public Broadcasting is West Virginia's only PBS and NPR station. What does that mean? Well, it means 10 television towers to broadcast PBS programming, including Masterpiece, and PBS NewsHour. Children's educational programming, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on our new WVPB PBS Kids channel. And 600 hours a year of state legislative coverage on the West Virginia channel. Our 17 radio towers carry favorites like NPR News and our calling card to the world, Mountain Stage. Together, West Virginia Public Broadcasting is telling West Virginia's story. Your sustaining gift helps protect West Virginia Public Broadcasting. Donate at wvpublic.org.
Mia, is it short for anything? Or? No, it's just Mia. M-I-A, right? Okay. Kelsey, honey, you're just my beautiful redhead. I love that red hair. Thank you. You're Thank welcome, you. darling. Sam, how you doing, buddy? Good. You sure? Your mama told me to tell you to make sure you always say sir. Okay, sir. And commissioner. See, there you go, mom. Aren't you happy? Okay. Uh, Alyssa, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are okay. you? Oh, I'm doing really well, Brody. Madison. Okay, are we ready? Remember, the only rule you got to remember is if you buzz in uh, before I can finish the question and, and it, it, you don't give me a right answer, I read the whole question to the other team. And we test, tested it. Sam, you still the captain over here? Mm -hmm. Who's the captain so over here? Thanks. Hey, Rachel. Hey. You're all the way down there? Honey, you're yeah. so far away from me. Oh, sorry. That's okay, babe. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. We've got some good questions here, y'all. God damn it. Okay, here we go. What was the name of the frontiersman who made his fa yes? Levi Morgan. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What was the name of the frontiersman who made his famous leap over a hillside near Wheeling and was being chased by Nick? Yes, ma'am. That is correct. What percentage? Oh, I love this question. If you get this. 80%. That's absolutely correct. I love, don't you love that? What percentage of West Virginia is covered Ooh. in forest? 80%. Very good, Samuel. You're all good. I'm not making any differences. Here we go. What is the northernmost? Yes. Hancock. You're absolutely correct, dear. How about this? What was the name of the Raleigh County native? Yes. Smith. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. What was the name of the Raleigh County native who was mortally wounded at Chipori, Korea in 1951? Yes. Craddock. I'm sorry, the correct answer is Cornelius H. Charlton. How about this? What brand is produced by the West Virginia Potato Chip Company? Yes. Oh, uh, what's your favorite? The barbecue. Oh, I, I like the barbecue. I love the green, too. And we got a big exhibit out there. Did you see it? Yeah. That's great. Here we go. What did the legislature adopt in 2000? Yes. W.B. Shaw. Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. What did the legislature adopt in 2009 as the state rock? Yes. By two minutes coal. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> According to the National Weather Service, what? Yes. Flat top. I beg your pardon? Flat top. I'm sorry. It's incorrect. What, according to the National Weather Service, what Berkeley County community received the most snowfall of any community along the eastern U.S. during winter storm Jonas? I remember this. You remember this, Deborah? I remember this. You want, yes. Martinsburg. It is Glenn Gary. How about this? What was the name of the former Marshall University coach? Yes. Laura. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. What was the name of the former Marshall University coach who is credited with pioneering? Yes. Henderson. That is correct. How about this one? What is the common name of West Virginia's state gym? Yes. Fossil coral. You're absolutely correct. From which county was the Mineral County formed? Yes. Hampshire. That is correct. How about this? Who led a 1616? Yes. John Brown. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Who led a 1669 expedition that was used by the French to base their claim on the Ohio Valley? Yes. Blendle. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. The correct answer is LaSalle. How about this? Which former U.S. Senator from West Virginia wrote the Constitutional? Yes. Distabar. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Which former U.S. Senator from West Virginia wrote the Constitutional Amendment? It's, yes. Jennings Randolph. You're absolutely correct. Establishing the voting age at 18. What was the name of the Raleigh County Mine? Where, yes. Eccles. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What was the name of the Raleigh County Mine? Where 29 miners were, yes. Upper Big Barrett. You're absolutely correct, Rachel. How about this? What was the name of the hostage who was taken from his, yes. I need an answer. Lynch. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. What was the name of the hostage who was taken from his home, Bel Air, during John Brown's raid? Yes, ma'am. Lewis Washington. You're absolutely correct. Oh, I did. Let me go back up then. Well, I, and this is a very important one because I am the State Historic Preservation Officer. So here we go. 
Uh, with 100 sites, which count, yes. Berkeley. That is absolutely correct. Has the most National Register of Historic Places listing. There we go. Okay, here we go. We're back on target now, right? Okay, in what Hardy County town is the West Virginia Turkey Festival? Yes. Matthias. You're absolutely correct. Okay, hold on. Turn the page. What was the subject of Henry Ruffner's 1847 address? Yes. A denunciation of slavery or okay that's fine honey you're an overachiever sorry very good okay here we go here we go what was the name of the McDowell County native who wrote honey in the yes ma'am Cole I'm sorry that's incorrect who wrote honey in the rock yes ma'am Wheeler it is Kermit Hunter. How about this one? Oh, I love this question. Marshall's Pillars was, yes, ma'am. Pinnacle Rock. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Marshall's Pillars was an early, early name for which Fayette County site? Yes. It was you, uh, Sam. Hawk's Nest. That is absolutely correct. How about this? In what present day West Virginia County did Fort, is that Cook, Cock, what is that? Yes. Mineral. That is absolutely correct. What is the name of the West Virginia native who is the author of the Bell Elkins? Yes. Oh, gosh. I want. Right. I think they were first, so I pushed it off. It's yes, ma'am. Keller. That is correct. How about this? What dam was the highest concrete? Yes. Tiger Lake Dam. Yes, that is correct. How many sides does the Kukendall Poly? Go yes. Fifteen. You're absolutely correct. Oh, here we go. Name West Virginia's three current members of the U.S. House. Yes. Jenkins, Moody, McKinley. That is correct. How about this? According to the 2010 census, which West Virginia County had the smallest population? Yes. Work. That's right. That is correct. In 1947, which song was adopted as West Virginia? Yes, ma'am. West Virginia Hills. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, yes. West Virginia, my home sweet home. That is correct. Which Ohio County man was appointed state treasurer? After, yes. Purdue. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Which Ohio County man was appointed state treasurer after John Burdett was impeached in 1876? Yes. Campbell Tarr. The correct answer is Brady. How about this? In which Preston County town does the annual Buckwood, yes. Kingwood. That is absolutely correct. By what name is the portion of US 52, yes. Chelsea Highway. That is correct. And last question, which former Huntington resident is known as the father, yes ma'am. Woodson. That's absolutely correct. Give a big hand you all. I mean, I know they're your alls, but aren't you amazed by them? I am totally amazed by these kids. How many of you all study at home with them? Isn't that great? I mean, who, what 14 year old wants to spend time with their parents? I mean, let's be honest. But isn't it great? That that's why we do this stuff. And, I, and look at all the stuff you all learn along the way. I tell you, I'm serious. I wish we'd have had something like this when I was growing up. Hey, Sam, are you still the captain? They haven't got tired of you yet? No. Sadly. Oh my gosh. Sadly That's not. great. So Sam, um, Rachel's captain over here, right, Miss Rachel? <laughs> yes. And Miss Rachel's gonna go first. And we know how it works. Mm -hmm. Okay, the big most important thing is Sam answers for his team, Miss Rachel answers for hers, unless you designate. And I will read the question once to the first team. And Sam, the most important thing is if the second team wants the question repeated, they say commissioner. Yeah. Can you would you repeat the question? Mom, would you love that? There you go. Okay. And you did learn the two most important words in that sentence, right, buddy? Commissioner and please. Buddy, you're on top of my list. Okay, here we go. Miss Rachel, you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. We ready down there? Here we go. In which West Virginia County can the Ferno experimental forest be found? Tucker? You're absolutely correct. Sam, in which West Virginia county can Blue Bin Recreation be found? 
Greenbrier. You're absolutely correct, Rachel. Which Confederate general from West Virginia was responsible for the burning of Chambersburg, Pennsylvania during the Civil War? Can I designate to yellow too? Yes. McCausland. You're absolutely correct. What is the name of the Confederate commander who captured Buckhannon on April 29th, 1863, Mr. Samuel? I designate report. Imboden. That is correct. Rachel. Which 1978 novel by Fairmont native John Knowles is set in West Virginia? Can I designate to yellow three? Yes. A vein of riches? Yes, you're absolutely correct. How about this? The best-selling memoir uh, by Jeanette Walls is set in part in McDowell County. I designate Reb 4. The Glass Castle. Absolutely correct. Hey, Miss Rachel, which military agency did Shepherdstown native John James Abert head for 32 years. U.S. Army Corps of Topographical Engineers. Bravo, Karina, that is absolutely correct. How about this, Mr. Samuel? In 2016, Mercer County native Diana Murphy became the second ever woman president of what organization? I designate Red One. Uh, United States Golf Association. Bravo, very good, Maddie. Okay, <laughs> how about this one? Rachel, what is the name of the judge who declared West Virginia's system of financing public school systems unconstitutional? Don't know. I designate red two. Arthur Recht. Recht. And you know what Recht means in German? Right. Yep. Correct. How about this one there, Mr. Samuel? What is the name of the West Virginia native whose appointment as head of the Federal Railroad Administration was confirmed by the U.S. Senate in 2015. I designate Red 2. Faulkner. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, Miss Rachel. Can you repeat the question? Yes, ma'am. What is the name of the West Virginia native whose appointment as head of the Federal Railroad Administration was confirmed by the U.S. Senate in 2015? Morrison. The correct answer is Sarah Feinberg. How about this one? Which county, Rachel, had the lowest median age population in 2000? Monongalia. You're absolutely correct. Sam, which county had the highest percentage of residents age 25 and over who had completed high school in 2010? I designate Red One. Ohio. You're absolutely correct. Rachel, in which community did Volville performer Kid Canfield die while he was crusading against gambling in 1935? Spencer. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I designate Red One. Beckley. The correct answer is Bluefield. How about this one, Sam? In what community did the state operate a women's prison in a former hotel from 1947 to 1985? I designate Red 2. Pence Springs. That is absolutely correct. Oh, here we go. This is a good question. In what year did the backyard brawl between the football teams of WVU and the University of Pittsburgh begin? 1895. You're absolutely correct. And they're chickens. They won't play us no more. How about this one? In what year did the West Virginia legislature officially recognize West Virginia Day? I need an answer. I designate red one. 1963. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Can you repeat the question? Yes, in what year did the West Virginia legislature officially recognize West Virginia Day? 1927. That is absolutely correct. How about this one? Who was chief justice? Who was chief judge of the U.S. District Court of Northern West Virginia from 2001 to 2008? I need the answer, please. Berger. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. That was a great guess. I designate Red Two. Of course, Brody, listen to this. Who was chief judge of the U.S. District Court of Northern West Virginia from 2001 to 2008? Miley. It's Irene Keeley is the correct answer. How about this, Sam? What was the name of the longtime member of the House of Delegates who had the nickname Pistol Nail? I designate Red 2. Elizabeth. 
I'm sorry, I need more information. No, Elizabeth Walker. That is absolutely correct. How about this one, Rachel? What film starring Shirley Knight, James Caan, and Robert Duvall was partially shot in West Virginia? Sweet need, Dreams? Pardon, pardon? Sweet Dreams? I'm sorry, that's incorrect, Sam. I designate Red 4. The Rain People? You're absolutely correct. <laughs> How about this one? What film starring Jessica Lange and Ed Harris was partially shot in West Virginia? Can you repeat the question, and please? Mm -mm. I can only read it one time. I designate Red Four. Night of the Hunter. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You. Sweet dreams. That is correct. <laughs> okay. How about this? In which West Virginia county can Woodrum Wildlife Management Area be found? Jackson. You're absolutely correct. Whew, God, these games kill me. In which West Virginia county, Samuel, can Fork Creek Wildlife Management Area be found? Ben. You're absolutely correct. Miss Rachel, what was the name of the Weston native who played for the Akron Pros during its National Football League winning 1920 season and later became a surgeon in Wheeling? Bailey. You're absolutely correct. Samuel, what was the name of the Wheeling native who was a major league second baseman from 1884 to 1889 before returning to West Virginia and becoming a cigar maker. I designate Red One. Barkley. You're absolutely, oops, you're absolutely correct, Maddie. I'm gonna we'll tear everything up here. Okay, uh, Rachel, what is the name of the woodland salamander that is found only in West Virginia in a five county area that includes Randolph County? Cheat Mountain Salamander. You're absolutely correct. Here we go. Sam, what is the name of the specific threatened species of land snail that has been found only in sandstone outcroppings in the Canyon Gorge near Cooper's Rock State Forest? I designate red one. Flat spired three tooth snail. That's it. Very good. Okay, here we go. I love this question, Deborah. It's like my absolute favorites. Okay, Rachel, what are the four regions of West Virginia from east to west? Potomac section, Allegheny Highlands, Allegheny Plateau, Ohio River Valley. Bravo. That's a hard question, you all. Mm -hmm. Okay, here, because you got to look at the map. Okay, Samuel, you get a fun question too. Really? What are the four panhandles that, I'm sorry, what are the four counties that make up the state's northern panhandle? Hancock, Brook, Ohio, and Marshall. Bravo, buddy. Okay, here we go. Which West Virginian was founder of the Disciples of Christ Church? Campbell. That is correct. And last question. Which West Virginian native is pastor at the Potter's House in Texas? I designate Red Fort. Claire. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Rachel? T.D. Jakes. Give him a big hand, you all. Great job. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, hey, girls, come here and see me. Oh, my gosh, you guys are wonderful. You are watching the 2017 History Bowl on the West Virginia Channel. Nineteen eighty four, Mary Lou Retton wins Olympic gold. Known as America's sweetheart, Mary Lou took up gymnastics at an early age in her hometown of Fairmont. She excelled at the sport and quickly made a name for herself. After winning her way onto the U.S. Olympic team in 1984, Retton injured her knee and had to undergo a surgery just five weeks before the Olympics. The world watched to see if the young gymnast had recovered. Party they'll have. 
have in Fairmont by the what beginning of the night. With that vault, Mary Lou Retton became the first American to win the all-around gold medal in gymnastics. She continues to be a popular figure in her home state and an inspiration to gymnasts around the world. 1882, the Hatfield-McCoy feud. What is perhaps the nation's best known family feud raged along both sides of the Tug Fork River for over 25 years. Anderson Devil Lance Hatfield ran a successful timber business with his family, primarily on the West Virginia side of the Tug. Randolph McCoy was a poor farmer who lived with his family on the Kentucky side. The first violence between the families grew out of the Civil War. Then there was a disagreement over who owned a pig. Romance between John C. Hatfield and Rosanna McCoy was the next source of tension between the two clans. Devil Lance Hatfield executed three of Randall McCoy's sons after a drunken brawl resulted in the death of his brother Ellison Hatfield. The feud reached its peak on New Year's Day 1888 when a Hatfield gang surrounded Randolph McCoy's cabin and set it afire, killing two more of his children and injuring his wife. The Hatfield Raiders were given prison sentences. One was hanged. 1910. West Virginia is the first state to recognize Mother's Day. Granville Jarvis built a home for his family in 1854 along the busy Wheeling Stanton Pike. The house was to see a lot of history. The Jarvis home served briefly as a field headquarters for Union General George McClellan during the Civil War. Granville's wife Ann Jarvis saw the suffering on both sides of the Civil War. She organized women into Mother's Day work clubs to care for families affected by the war and other health epidemics. After Anne's death, her daughter Anna Jarvis campaigned diligently for a holiday to commemorate the spirit of her mother's work. Mother's Day observances started locally, one of the first being in Grafton, but quickly spread across the nation. Mother's Day became a national holiday in 1914, but Anna Jarvis soon became disgusted by the commercialization of the holiday. I believe the power and influence of the next president and his vitality and force are going to be the great factor in meeting the responsibilities that we're going to face. So I run for the presidency. Hubert Humphrey took on John Kennedy in one of the most significant elections in American history. Kennedy was a Catholic from a rich New England family. How could he win an election in predominantly Protestant, working-class West Virginia? JFK campaigned hard in West Virginia. On election night, he won over 60% of the vote. I want tonight to express my thanks to the people of West Virginia for their fairness, their confidence, and for their support. Despite all that's been written about the state, after traveling to every corner of the state and meeting the people here, I had no doubt that you would cast your votes on the basis of the issues and not on the basis of any religious prejudice. West Virginia Public Broadcasting is West Virginia's only PBS and NPR station. What does that mean? Well, it means 10 television towers to broadcast PBS programming, including Masterpiece and PBS NewsHour. Children's educational programming, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on our new WVPB PBS Kids channel, and 600 hours a year of state legislative coverage on the West Virginia channel. Our 17 radio towers carry favorites like NPR News and our calling card to the world. Mountain Stage. Together, West Virginia Public Broadcasting is telling West Virginia's story. Your sustaining gift helps protect West Virginia Public Broadcasting. Donate at wvpublic.org.
so dumb, right? So Madeline was such a good verse. Maddie, Madison, Connor, Todd, Reagan. <laughs> you guys are great. Oh, look. Since you were, you know what? If this was like a beauty pageant, we would pick you as Miss Congeniality. What? You are so friendly and nice. Just, just go with it. <laughs> okay. I just had a wonderful talk with your mom and dad. Huh? I didn't know when you were such a good boy. Your mom's Stop talking to you. That's great. All right, Samuel. Yes. Buzz. Okay, do you want to, you want to, Alyssa to go first or Brody? I keep, keep saying. Okay, Alyssa. Ah. We have to Brody. keep things. Miss Maddie. Okay, so the most important thing is we know is if I read the question, you buzz in and you don't get the question right, then I read the question in its entirety to the other team. Is that okay? All right. Are you still the captain over here? Yes. Very good. I know you're still the captain. <laughs> you ain't giving up any power, are you? Okay, here we go. We tested all the buzzers, right? Mm -hmm. Are we ready down there, y'all? Here we go. In which West Virginia County can Panther State for yes. McDowell. That is absolutely correct. Which Greenbar native served as the lieutenant yes. Humphreys. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Which Greenbar native served as the lieutenant governor of Confederate Virginia and later as the president of the eighteen seventy two West Virginia Constitutional Convention? Yes. Samuels. Oh, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. It's Samuel Price is the correct answer. How about the, oh, here we go. What five states? Okay, here we go. Ohio, uh, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Maryland. Bravo, Todd. Very good. Okay, here we go. What is West Virginia State in, yes. Honeybee. Absolutely correct. What is the name of the treaty that ended Lord, yes? Treaty of Camp Charlotte. You're absolutely correct. Between 2011 and 2014, this West Virginia County lost, yes? Ben. You're absolutely correct. Who was the Harrison County native who served on the U.S. Senate Subcommittee of War Mobilization of the, yes? Kilgore. You're absolutely correct. What was the name of the proposed 14th colony, yes? Vandalia. Absolutely. There we go. How about this? This Logan County native was, yes? Tomlin? Yes. Was the longest serving president of the West Virginia Senate in the Senate's history. Very good, Reagan. Okay, in which Nicholas County community was, yes. Need an answer? Peterstown? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. In which Nicholas County community was the Dodge Clothespin Factory? Yes. Richwood. That is absolutely correct. Which county school board voted to prohibit, yes. Mineral. That's absolutely correct. It's the showing of Schindler's List. What is the name of the Elkview native who founded? Yes. Walden. That is absolutely correct. In which West Virginia county can black water? Yes. Tucker. That is absolutely correct. What fish that is only known? Yes. Diamond Darter. That is absolutely correct. What was the name of the mate one police chief? Yes. Hatfield. That is correct. Smile and Sid. How about this? What object was removed from the, yes. Statue of George Washington. Absolutely. Removed from Virginia Military Institute in Lexington. Very good. Which West Virginia town won budget tri Yes. Lewisburg. You're absolutely correct. Whew. Take a breath, turn a page. What is the name of the Pocahontas County wetlands that could, yes. Cranberry Glades. Absolutely correct. How about this? Which labor group formed district, yes. Need an answer. UMWA. I beg your pardon? UMWA. That is correct. United Mine Workers, they formed District 17. What was the name of the first West Virginia governor? Yes. Arthur I. Borman. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What was the name of the first West Virginia governor born within the present day borders of the state? Yes. Jacob. You are correct. For what crime was, yes. Treason. Yes. <laughs> Was Harmer Blinner has it indicted because of his plot with Aaron Burr? Okay, in which West Virginia county is the national youth? Yes. Pocahontas. You're absolutely correct. In front of what Wheeling building? Yes. Wesley Institute. That is correct. How about, it was the inauguration of Arthur I. Borman? 
Oh, uh, let's see. It, who was the first woman president? Yes. Lane. I beg your pardon? Lane. That's absolutely correct. Of the West Virginia Bar Association. That's twice I've done that. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Which 1861, yes. Howard E. Tatel Radio Telescope. I'm sorry? Howard E. Tatel Radio Telescope. No, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Which 1861 Civil War battle in Nicholas County was known by, yes? The Battle of Kessler's Cross Lane. That is correct. Turn the page. What is the name of the Wheeling native who is the chairman of the board and principal owner of the, yes? Nutting. That is correct. To which present day county did the Virginia, yes? Jefferson County. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. To which present day county did the Virginia Committee of Safety send 13 prisoners? Yes. Berkeley. You're absolutely correct. Oh my gosh, we're tied. Out of my heart. Okay, the Northwestern Turnpike was built in the 1830s from Winchester, Virginia. Yes. Potomac. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The Northwestern Turnpike was built in the 1830s from Winchester, Virginia to which Ohio River town? Yes. Boy, Dad, he really comes through, doesn't he? Very good, that is correct. At which institution of higher learning can the, yes? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> I jinxed you, I'm sorry. At which institution of higher learning can the West Virginia Folk Life Center be found? Yes, ma'am. Vermont State College. You're absolutely correct. Whew. Here we go. We're tied. Last question this round. What is the name of the hurricane resident? Yes. Holiday. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What is the name of the hurricane resident who was the Prohibition Party nominee for the presidential election in 2012? Yes, sir. Failure. That is correct. Give him a big hand, you all. Okay, guys, we can't miss any. Okay. Reagan, you still the captain? Yes. So, Reagan, you get to go first. Still the captain? No. <laughs> so Sam Reagan's gonna go first. Mm -hmm. And if for some reason, you know, if she doesn't get the correct answer, you get to steal it. But that works both ways, doesn't it, Reagan? So Reagan's the boss over here, you're the boss over here. The most important thing is I will read the question once for the first team. If the second team wants it repeated, they say, Commissioner, would you please repeat the question? Have we learned that, Samuel? Okay. Are you ready to play? Okay, here we go. Hey, Reagan, in which community was the West Virginia Industrial Home for Girls located? Salem. That is correct. Sam, in which community is the Museum of Radio and Technology located? Huntington. You're absolutely correct. What was the name, uh, Reagan, of the aviator who served as captain of the West Virginia Flying Corps and later died during World War I as a member of the Royal Flying Corps in Great Britain? Bennett. That is absolutely correct. Sam, what was the name of the owner of Red Sulphur Springs who served as vice president to Benjamin Harrison? Do you know it? I designate Red too. Morton. That is correct, Brody. Uh, Reagan, what piece of beverage equipment did Jacob Ebert and George Dulty of Wheeling receive a patent for in 1833? Soda fountain. You're absolutely correct. Ah, what in invention created by James Clark of Greenbrier County did the West Virginia legislature recommend for schools to use in 1893? I designate Red 4. Rotary Blackboard. That is correct. What was the title of West Virginia's very first highway historical marker that was placed in Charleston on April 9th? 26, 1937. State Capitol. You're absolutely correct. Sam, what is the name of the tourist railroad that travels along the south branch of the Potomac River through an area called the Trough? Potomac Eagle. You're absolutely correct. 
What is the name, Reagan, of the Clarksburg native who helped design the Curiosity rover that landed on Mars in 2012? 5.04. Mike. That's absolutely correct. Hey, Sam. What is the name of the Clarksburg native who was named Fund Leader of the Year at the Mutual Fund Industry Awards in 2010? I designate please. red four. Robert Reynolds. That's absolutely that's absolutely correct. How about this one, Reagan? What was the name given to a Native American attack on a company of Hampshire County militia south of Wheeling on September 27, 1777? I point yellow four. Foreman's massacre. You're absolutely correct, Sam. What was the name of the 1781 Loyalist insurrection in present-day Hardy County? I designate red two. Claypool's Rebellion. That is correct, Brody. How about this one, Reagan? Which two people represent West Virginia in the United States Capitol's Statuary Hall? Pierpont and Kenna. That is absolutely correct. Sam, name the two West Virginia natives who currently serve as judges for the United States Court of Appeals Fourth Circuit. I designate Red 2. Thacker and King. You're absolutely correct. Uh, Rachel, the disease, the disease called, oh, this is a hard one. The disease called co-workers pneumoconisos is better known by what name? I need an answer. I have one yellow three. Black long. You're absolutely correct. Sam. What is the name of the condition that resulted in numerous deaths during the construction of the Hawk's Nest Tunnel? I designate Red 4. The death of millions of laborers to silicosis. I got silicosis all I needed. Oh. You are an overachiever. Sorry. Okay, very good. Okay, here we go. What was the name of the socialist paper in Huntington that was raided by military authorities on May 9th, 1913? The Socialist and Labor Star. That is correct. How about this one, Sam? In 2015, which West Virginia newspaper was added to the Society of Professional Journalists list of historic sites in journalism? I designate Red One. The Wheeling Intelligencer. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Reagan? Which African American high school basketball team from Bluefield won the first Southern? Interscholastic Basketball Tournament at Tuskegee, Alabama in 1935. I point yellow one, Gianna High School. That is correct. How about this one, Sam? In 1966, an FFA team from which Gilmer County High School achieved a score in the National Land and Range Judging Contest that remains unsurpassed? Mary, that's a beautiful worded question. I designate Red One. Genoa High School. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Town High. That is correct. Oh my goodness. Who was the first woman in the West Virginia legislature to hold the position of Senate Majority Whip? Spears. That's absolutely correct. How about this one, Sam? What was the name of the Marion County native who became the first woman to preside over a Republican state party convention? I designate Red Four. Lo Yost. That is correct. How about this one? What was the name of the company that established Richwood as a sawmill town? I point yellow three. Cherry River Boom and Lumber Company. You're absolutely correct. Sam, what is the name of the first ironworks west of the Blue Ridge Mountains? I designate Red One. Shenandoah Bloomery. You're absolutely correct. How about this? How many counties in present day West Virginia were formed before the end of the American Revolutionary War? Five. You're absolutely correct. How many counties have no wildlife management areas within their borders? Five. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Six. You're absolutely correct. 
How about this? At which West Virginia college was the Alpha Psi Omega Honorary Theater Fraternity founded in 19 and 25? Fairmont State Normal School. You're absolutely correct. Sam, what is the name of the West Virginia Institution of Higher Learning that won the Division II NCAA National Volleyball Championship in 2015? I designate Red One. Wheeling Jesuit. You're absolutely correct. How about this one? What was the name of the Charleston native who authored a code of conduct for U.S. businesses operating in South Africa and was the first African American appointed to the General Motor Board, Motors Board of Directors? Sullivan. You are correct. Last question. What was the former Senator Robert C. Byrd's birth name? I designate Red Two. Calvin Coolidge Jr. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. I point yellow for Cornelius Calvin Sale Jr. You're absolutely correct. Give him a big hand, you all. You are watching the 2017 History Bowl on the West Virginia Channel. Nineteen forty one, the battleship West Virginia sinks in Pearl Harbor. The Mountaineer Battle Wagon was the pride of the American fleet before World War II. The mighty USS West Virginia was over 600 feet long and had eight giant 16-inch guns. On December 7, 1941, the West Virginia was struck by two bombs and seven torpedoes. The battleship sank in 40 feet of water and over 100 of her crewmen perished. The USS West Virginia was refloated in May of 1942. Over the next two years, the ship was repaired and upgraded, finally returning to battle in late 1944. The Wee V, as she was known, supported many of the Pacific Island battles that followed, earning five battle stars. Battleship 48, the USS West Virginia, was decommissioned in 1947. 1930, work begins on the Hawk's Nest Tunnel. It would be three miles long, and it would divert the New River to a hydroelectric power plant but the construction is remembered as America's worst industrial disaster. One researcher counted 764 lives lost. My husband, Cecil Jones, died of working in the Hawk's Nest Tunnel, contracted silicosis. The men were tunneling through solid silica, and the dust destroyed lungs through a disease called acute silicosis. I lost three sons from working in the tunnel of silicosis, and each and every day that I worked in that tunnel, I have to carry off from 10 to 14 men was overcome by the dust. Many were buried in unmarked graves. The majority of those who died were African American. 1959. Jerry West leads the Mountaineers to the national championship game. The most famous player to wear the golden blue, Jerry West is one of basketball's all-time greats. He led the Mountaineers to three of their greatest seasons on the hardwood. The 1959 season saw the Mountaineers make a deep run in the NCAA tournament. Jerry West scored 38 points and grabbed 15 rebounds to lead the Mountaineers over Louisville in the Final Four. West scored 28 points with 11 rebounds against California in the national championship game, but it wasn't quite enough. West Virginia lost by a single point, 71 to 70. Jerry West went on to play 14 seasons for the Los Angeles Lakers in the NBA. West literally became an icon when his silhouette was chosen as the NBA's logo. 1947, Chuck Yeager breaks the sound barrier. Chuck Yeager was born in the Lincoln County town of Myra in 1923 and grew up in nearby Hamlin. As a fighter pilot in World War II, Jaeger was shot down over Nazi-occupied France, but managed to escape with the help of the French Resistance. 
he went on to become a decorated fighter ace. After the war, Jaeger became a test pilot and was selected to fly the experimental Bell X-1 to research high-speed flight. He nicknamed the plane Glamorous Glennis in honor of his wife. Chuck Jaeger launched the era of supersonic flight when the X-1 rocketed past the speed of sound on October 14, 1947. Jaeger went on to break many altitude and speed records as well as commanding Air Force units all over the world. 1924, Jesse Donald Knotts is born in Morgantown. He graduated from Morgantown High School and WVU. Don Knotts started in show business while still in high school, making money with a ventriloquist act. While entertaining troops in World War II, he gave up the dummy in favor of straight comedy. Knott's role as Deputy Barney Fife on The Andy Griffith Show became iconic and earned the actor five Emmy Awards. Knott's went on to star in several movies. He returned to series television in 1979 as the lovable Mr. Furley on Three's Company. He also voiced several cartoon characters later in his career. Don Knott's died in 2006. He is remembered in Morgantown with a star on High Street, and a local highway bears the actor's name. West Virginia Public Broadcasting is West Virginia's only PBS and NPR station. What does that mean? Well, it means 10 television towers to broadcast PBS programming, including Masterpiece and PBS NewsHour. Children's educational programming, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on our new WVPB PBS Kids channel, and 600 hours a year of state legislative coverage on the West Virginia channel. Our 17 radio towers carry favorites like NPR News and our calling card to the world, Mountain Stage. Together, West Virginia Public Broadcasting is telling West Virginia's story. Your sustaining gift helps protect West Virginia Public Broadcasting. Donate at wvpublic.org.
y'all been sitting out there all day doing nothing, and I'm up here like working, and I say excitedly, hi everybody, and it's like, hi. And then you did it better the second time. So you know what this is now, don't you? This is it. So it's very simple. If South Middle wins, they are the state champions. Okay, that's simple fun. If Reagan and Todd, who is really Scott, <laughs> and Cameron win, then they have to win again because we do a double elimination tournament. But I think what you all should do is stand up and give them a huge, huge stand round up, of applause. <laughs> Thanks for turning on. So, <laughs> Angel, is there anything you'd like to say before we start? <laughs> and where's Danny Gass? Where are you, I got Coach? You <laughs> Do you want to yeah. stand up and say anything? No. I'll, I'll do a little vomiting. Great You're not going to say anything? All right. <laughs> are we ready? Miss Sarah, you. are we ready over here? We are definitely ready. Hunter, can you like do your buzzer Speak for me? How about you, Miss Sarah? Okay, and then Mr. Daniel. And this is Gabby. Gabriella. Okay. How about you, Connor? Maddie? Reagan? Do you want to give me another name? Let's see. Scott, Todd. You ready? You are rotten. Okay, here we go, you all. Most important thing to remember is if, you, if I'm reading a question and you buzz in before I finish reading it and you get an incorrect answer, I read the whole thing, the whole question to the other team. Are we ready? No. You're not ready? <laughs> I think we need to go over the rules. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go over the rules one more time. Okay, here we go. Which Union native became one of the first African-American bishops in the, yes. Claire. That is correct. Uh, what toy man manufacturer once, yes. Lewis Marks and Company? That is correct. According to the 2010 census, which West Virginia County was the most, yes? And all. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. According to the 2010 census, which West Virginia County was the most densely populated? <sighs> yes, ma'am. Ohio? That is absolutely correct. Which former United States president? Yes. Obama? That is correct. This is a new question, Deborah. I didn't know that. I got to read this to you all. Uh, which former United States president is a descendant of Jacob Dunham, a, Dunham, a native of Berkeley County? Okay, here we go. What is the minimum numbers? No, yes. 18. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What is the minimum number of years a person must be a state resident in order to serve in the state legislature? Yes, ma'am. Um, 10. The correct answer is two. How about this? In which eastern panhandle town is, yes. Romney? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. In which eastern panhandle town is the National Conference Conservation Training Center located? Yes, ma'am. Shepherdstown. You're absolutely correct. How about this? What is the name of the World War II veteran for whom the U.S. Navy will name an, yes. Williams. That is correct. How about this? What is West Virginia's state reptile? Yes. Timber rattlesnake. That is correct. How about this? What is the common name for the Shawnee leader who was murdered at Point Yes. Cornstalk. That's absolutely correct. Which West Virginia basketball team won the national black? Yes. Genoa High School. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Which West Virginia basketball team won the national black college championship in 1948? Yes, sir. West Virginia. That is absolutely correct. Which MacDowell County community is home to the first structure built? Yes. Welch. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. How about, guys, I'll read the whole thing. Which MacDowell County community is home to the first structure built in the United States to honor African American? Yes. Kimball. You're, that, you're absolutely correct. Elm Grove Stone Arch Bridge, yes. Little Wheeling Creek. You're absolutely correct. Who led Union troops against Confederate forces at Romney and was the author of the novel, Ben? Yes. Uh, Lou Wallace. That is absolutely correct. Which West Virginia state geologist developed the end? Yes. I.C. White. That is absolutely correct. 
Which prehistoric mound is this? Yes. Creel Mound. That that is correct. It's in South Charleston. What is the name of the railroad that reached Wheeling? Yes. The Buno. You're absolutely correct. Who was the the last governor to be inaugurated in Wheat? Yes. Wilson. That's absolutely correct. According to the 1860 U.S. Census, which present day was yes. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. According to the 1860 U.S. Census, which West Virginia, present day West Virginia County, had the largest African American population. Yes, ma'am. Jefferson. You're absolutely correct. Where was the first U.S. Post Office located? Yes. Martinsburg. You're absolutely correct. Which former West Virginian was the musical director of the American Boycott? Yes. Lytton. That is absolutely correct. What was the name of the series of football games between? Yes. Friends of Colbo. You're absolutely correct. In which geographic region of West Virginia? Yes. Allegheny Highlands. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. In which geographic region of West Virginia can Hampshire County be found? Yes. Potomac section. You're absolutely correct. Which county courthouse was burned by you? Yes. Lincoln. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Yes. Logan. You're absolutely correct. Which West Virginia journalist won a Pulitzer Prize? Yes. Mason. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Which West Virginia journalist won a Pulitzer Prize for his editorials on the Kanawha County textbook controversy? Yes, ma'am. Maurice. That is absolutely correct. What was the name of the first newspaper published in what would become? Yes. Potomac Guardian. You're absolutely correct. Which site in West Virginia was named as the state's first national? Yes. Grave Creek Mound. That is absolutely correct. What was the name of the famed African American group of pilots? Yes. Tuskegee Airmen. You're absolutely correct. What Jackson County barn was one of only two? Yes. Rankin Octagonal Barn. You're absolutely correct. What was the main objective of delegates from? Yes. Equal representation. You're absolutely correct. What was the name of the Grafton native who took the last posed photograph? Yes. John Sten. You're absolutely correct. Give him a big hand. Both teams together only missed one question. But again, all you parents out there knew every answer, didn't you? Very proud of you. Okay, Sarah, honey, are you going to be the captain again? Yes, sir. Okay, so you're going to go first, all right? Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, if for some reason you do not get the correct answer, they get to steal it from you, but you get to steal from them as well, too. Mm -hmm. And you're the boss over here, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, hey, Miss Reagan, how you doing? Good. Would you please introduce me to this guy next to you because I really don't know his name. He's, he's Scott. Well, he can go as Todd or whatever you feel like calling him. So where did we get Todd? You called him that up in uh, regionals. I know. Then you told me his name was Todd here today. Yeah. What's your middle name? Anthony. Scott Anthony. Okay, Scott Anthony. So Reagan's the boss over here, right? Well, but she's not hitting you today. So okay, so Reagan, Miss Sarah's going first. Okay, you're the boss over here. Most important thing is I will read the question once to the first team. If you need to repeat it, you will say, Commissioner, please repeat the question. Okay, are we ready? Anybody got any questions? Do we need to test the buzzers? No. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this first question, Sarah. Here we go. Who is the author of a collection of poems called Appalachia, I My Land? I Gabby Dressler. Beg your pardon? Dressler. Have you ever read any of them? Oh my gosh, you have to do it. They're beautiful. Okay, here we go. That was right, by the way. Okay. Which Martinsburg native has written dozens of highly acclaimed books for children and young adults, including The Righteous Revenge of Artemis Bonner? That's absolutely correct. What is the name of the treaty that Cherokee signed on October? I designate Hunter. Treaty of Fort Stanwix. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What is the name of the treaty that the Cherokee signed on October 17, 1768, in which they relinquished all of their land in present day West Virginia? I point yellow fort. Treaty of Hard Labor. You're absolutely correct. And how about this one, Reagan? What is the name of the treaty that Sir William Johnson signed with the Six Nations that relinquished all Iroquois claims to land west of the Allegheny Mountains and east of the Ohio River? I point yellow fort. 
Treaty of Fort Stanwix? You're absolutely correct. Uh, Miss Sarah, what is the name of the Hinton native who played gangster Vincent Cole in the 1961 film Mad Dog Cole? I designate Gabby. Wilson? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Chandler. You're absolutely correct. How about this? What is the name of the CBS News Forum correspondent who became a professor of journalism at WVU in 1971? Kearns. That's absolutely correct. How about this one, Miss Sarah? Which Pocahontas County community was formerly known as Traveler's Repose? I designate Daniel. Bartow. You're absolutely correct. How about this one? By what name, Reagan, was the Kanawha County community? of tornado officially known until 2013 by the U.S. Geological Survey's U.S. Board on Geographic Names. Upper You're absolutely correct. Miss Sarah, which Clarksburg-born filmmaker made motion pictures for the federal government? Under You're absolutely correct. Uh, Reagan, which screenwriter and director known for his work on The Big Chill, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and The Empire Strikes Back was raised in Morgantown? I point you three. Kasdan. You're absolutely correct. Uh, Miss Sarah, in what year did the legislature pass a law to establish the West Virginia Lottery? 1985. You're absolutely correct. Reagan, in what year was the first telephone exchange established in West Virginia? 1880. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Miss Sarah? Mylon Pushkar of Morgantown was the co-founder. I designate Gabby. Mylon Laboratories Incorporated. You're absolutely correct. How about this one, Reagan? By what soft of uh, what software company did Canova native Brad Smith become president and CEO in 2008? I point yellow three into it. You're absolutely correct. Uh, Sarah, which two West Virginia counties did Virginia sue to have returned in 1871 an effort denied by the Supreme Court? I designate Daniel. Berkeley and Jefferson. You're absolutely correct. Uh, Reagan, which two present-day West Virginia counties were created from the district of West Augusta? You're absolutely correct. How about this? What was the name of the Raleigh County native who served as director of the National Hurricane Center from 1998 to 2000? I designate Gabby. Jerry Gerald. You're absolutely correct. What was the name of the Willie native who served as executive director of West Virginia Civil Civilian Defense from 1942 to 1944? Buckman. That's absolutely correct. Sarah, what is the name of the Monongalia County educator who devised a grade system for rural schools that was later adopted throughout the United States. I designate Gabby Alexander Wade. You're absolutely correct. What was the name of the Harrison County native who became president of the National Education Association in 1950, Reagan? Smith. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I designate Gabby Corma Mowry. That is absolutely correct. How about this one, Sarah? According to census statistics, what were the three most densely populated counties in West Virginia in 2010? I designate Hunter. Cavill, Hancock, and Ohio. That is correct. Uh, how about this one, Reagan? According to census statistics, what were the three least densely populated counties in West Virginia in 2010? Pocahontas, Pendleton, and Webster. You're absolutely correct. Uh, Sarah, what is the name of the grant to the suffering traders that was provided for in the, the 1768 Treaty of Fort Stanwix? I designate Hunter. Indiana Grant. You're absolutely correct, Hunter. Uh, Reagan, what was the name of the company that was given permission on July 12th, 1749, to take up and survey 800,000 acres on land in Western Virginia? I point yellow four. Connor. Loyal Land Company. Absolutely correct. Okay. Ms. Sarah, what is the name of the Sarita Canova High School graduate who won three Silver Slugger awards during his professional baseball career? I designate Hunter. Robinson. You're absolutely correct. Reagan, what was the name of the Smithers native who was named the top defensive end of the NFL's first 50 years? I point yellow one. Machete. That's absolutely correct. Uh, what species of tree in Harrison County is the largest of its species? on record in the United States, Sarah. I designate Daniel. Virginia Pine. Oh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Can you repeat the question? Please? Yes, what species of tree in Harrison County is the largest of its species on record in the United States? 
I need an answer, please. No answer. Oh my gosh, we stumped them. Fan leaf hawthorn. How about this one, Miss Reagan? What species of tree near Smithtown, Monongalia County, is the largest of its species on record in the United States? Five point yellow one. Virginia pine. You're absolutely correct, Todd Scott. Whatever. Here we go. In which West Virginia county can Nathaniel Mountain Wildlife Management Area be found? A designate Daniel Hampshire. You're absolutely correct. And the last question of this round, in which West Virginia county can Laurel Lake Wildlife Management Area be found? Mingo. You're absolutely correct. Give him a big hand. Okay, we're going to take a real quick 10 minute break so the coaches can meet with their teams. Is that okay? All right. We've got cookies and stuff out there if you want to go grab something and cupcakes. All right. Hey, hey, hey. You guys are doing great. You are watching the 2017 History Bowl on the West Virginia Channel. Nineteen eighty four, Mary Lou Retton wins Olympic gold. Known as America's sweetheart, Mary Lou took up gymnastics at an early age in her hometown of Fairmont. She excelled at the sport and quickly made a name for herself. After winning her way onto the U.S. Olympic team in 1984, Retton injured her knee and had to undergo a surgery just five weeks before the Olympics. The world watched to see if the young gymnast had recovered. With that vault, Mary Lou Retton became the first American to win the all-around gold medal in gymnastics. She continues to be a popular figure in her home state and an inspiration to gymnasts around the world. 1882, the Hatfield-McCoy feud. What is perhaps the nation's best-known family feud raged along both sides of the Tug Fork River for over 25 years. Anderson Devil Lance Hatfield ran a successful timber business with his family, primarily on the West Virginia side of the tug. Randolph McCoy was a poor farmer who lived with his family on the Kentucky side. The first violence between the families grew out of the Civil War. Then there was a disagreement over who owned a pig. Romance between John C. Hatfield and Rosanna McCoy was the next source of tension between the two clans. Devil Lance Hatfield executed three of Randall McCoy's sons after a drunken brawl resulted in the death of his brother Ellison Hatfield. The feud reached its peak on New Year's Day 1888 when a Hatfield gang surrounded Randolph McCoy's cabin and set it afire, killing two more of his children and injuring his wife. The Hatfield Raiders were given prison sentences. One was hanged. 1910. West Virginia is the first state to recognize Mother's Day. Granville Jarvis built a home for his family in 1854 along the busy Wheeling Stanton Pike. The house was to see a lot of history. The Jarvis home served briefly as a field headquarters for Union General George McClellan during the Civil War. Granville's wife, Ann Jarvis, saw the suffering on both sides of the Civil War. She organized women into Mother's Day work clubs to care for families affected by the war and other health epidemics. After Anne's death, her daughter Anna Jarvis campaigned diligently for a holiday to commemorate the spirit of her mother's work. Mother's Day observances started locally, one of the first being in Grafton, but quickly spread across the nation. Mother's Day became a national holiday in 1914, but Anna Jarvis soon became disgusted by the commercialization of the holiday. I believe the power and influence of the next president and his vitality and force are going to be the great factor in meeting the responsibilities that we're going to face. So I run for the presidency. Hubert Humphrey took on John Kennedy in one of the most significant elections in American history. Kennedy was a Catholic from a rich New England family. How could he win an election in predominantly Protestant, working-class West Virginia? JFK campaigned hard in West Virginia. On election night, he won over 60% of the vote. I want tonight to express my thanks to the people of West Virginia for their fairness, their competence, for their support. Despite all that's been written about the state, after traveling to every corner of the state, 
meeting the people here, I had no doubt that you would cast your votes on the basis of the issue and not on the basis of any religious prejudice. West Virginia Public Broadcasting is West Virginia's only PBS and NPR station. What does that mean? Well, it means 10 television towers to broadcast PBS programming, including Masterpiece and PBS NewsHour. Children's educational programming, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on our new WVPB PBS Kids channel, and 600 hours a year of state legislative coverage on the West Virginia channel. Our 17 radio towers carry favorites like NPR News and our calling card to the world, Mountain Stage. Together, West Virginia Public Broadcasting is telling West Virginia's story. Your sustaining gift helps protect West Virginia Public Broadcasting. Donate at wvpublic.org.
Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Randall Reed Smith, and I'm commissioner of the West Virginia Division of Culture and History, and I'd like to welcome you today to West Virginia State History Bowl. Yes, I, I would give them a big hand. We're down to the very last minute. Yes. Yes. So we're going to do this one at a time. Hunter, would you please stand up? And everybody give Hunter a big round of applause. Sarah, would you please stand up? Sarah's the captain. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Gabriella. <laughs> Connor, we're going to start with you. Everybody give Connor a big round of applause. Miss Maddie. <laughs> Our captain, Miss Reagan. <laughs> and my best bud up here on stage, Scott <laughs> Andrew. Anthony, Scott Anthony. <laughs> OK, but we decided we're going to call him Homer today. Rest of the <laughs> Hey, everybody, you all have done a great job. Angel, will you stand up? I mean, what you do is amazing. We're very proud of you. <laughs> Mr. Gatz, we got to get your steps in today. Stand up. OK. Are we ready? We are so ready. <laughs> so did you, get, did you get to talk to uh, you know, Angel or April? Um, we, yes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right, here we go. Are we ready down there? Thank you, guys. I got, I got to thank my staff. They're amazing. Uh, they are really amazing. Because it is honest to goodness, I have about 473 personalities, and about two of them are nice. And my staff really, they just make it all happen. They're just the best. And I really appreciate them. Leslie is back there. She does all our graphics. She's just amazing. Todd, are you back there? Did I lose you, buddy? Oh, Miss Bethany. I couldn't do it without Bethany. She ordered all the food. She baked all the cupcakes. She did all the cookies. So we love you, Bethany. Thank you. Where's Karen? OK, Karen, Matt. Matt's amazing. We all love Matt and Joe. So are you guys ready now? We're still ready. OK. <laughs> All right, Miss Sarah. Here we go. Oh, we got to test the buzzers, don't we? Connor. Reagan. Maddie. Scott Anthony. Miss Gabriella. Daniel. Miss Sarah. Hunter. OK, here we go. Who was the first state? Yes, Miss Sarah. Bennett. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Who was the first state archaeologist of West Virginia? Yes. McMichael. That is absolutely correct. This international charitable organization, yes. Save the children. You're absolutely correct. For what office did Joseph H. De yes. House of Delegates. You're absolutely correct. In which United States Federal Appeals Court District is West Virginia? Yes. Four. That is absolutely correct. Which statehood leader served as governor of West Virginia for seven? Yes. Farnsworth. That is absolutely correct. What was the name of the newspaper first published in? Yes. Potomac Guardian. I beg your pardon? Potomac Guardian. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What it was the name of the newspaper first published in 1824 by John S. Gallagher that was devoted mainly to the interests of women? Yes. Ladies Garland. You're absolutely correct. In which Brooke County community did striking minors? Yes. I need answer. Clayton. 
I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Cliftonville. You're absolutely correct. Which Parkersburg native was commander in chief of the U.S. Pacific? Yes. Chadwick. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Which Parkersburg native was commander in chief of the U.S. Pacific Fleet from 1953 to 1958? Yes, sir. Felix Budwell Stump. You're absolutely correct. Who was the Jackson County Democrat that became the first? I'm sorry. Who was, are we ready? Who was the first Jackson County, yes. Higher. That is absolutely correct. Which decisive Union victory, yes. Rich Mountain. You're absolutely correct. What is the name of the Huntington native who won the U.S. Amateur Golf Champion, yes. Uh, Bill Campbell. You're absolutely correct. What is the name of the massacre that took place, yes. Yellow Creek Massacre. You're absolutely correct. Name West Virginia's two current, yes. Did answer? No answer. Name West Virginia's two current United States Senators. Yes, ma'am. Capito and Manchin. You're absolutely correct. How about this? What is the name of the U.S. Congressman and Senator from West Virginia who was born in present day St. Albans? Yes. Uh, I need an answer, please. Randolph. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. What is the name of the U.S. Congressman? and senator from West Virginia who was born in present-day St. Albans in 1848 and was instrumental in moving the state capital to Charleston. Yes. Kenna? You're absolutely correct. What is the minimum age a person, yes. 25. You're absolutely correct. Before they can serve in the West Virginia Senate. Which fort did Elizabeth Zane help, yes. Fort Henry. You're absolutely correct. In which West Virginia county can the West Virginia State Farm, yes. Mason. You're absolutely correct. Along which waterway are the Robert C. Bird locks, yes. Ohio River. You're absolutely correct, Daniel. In what year did West Virginia officially adopt, yes. 1963. Yes. <laughs> the official colors, old gold and blue. Noted African-American poet, Ann Spencer, yes. Renaissance. I'm sorry, honey. Renaissance. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Noted African-American poet, Ann Spencer, grew up in what Mercer County community? Yes, ma'am. Princeton. I'm sorry, the correct answer is Bramwell, but they say Bramwell. Okay, here we go. In which geographic region of West Virginia can Gilmer County, yes. Allegheny Plateau. That is correct. Which prehistoric culture is credited, yes. Adina, Adina Early Woodland Culture. That is correct. In which Greenbrier community can the oldest continuously, yes. Lewisburg. You're absolutely correct. What is the name of the organization that announced its first class of inductees? Yes. West Virginia Music Hall of Fame. That is correct. What is the name of the July 19th, 1863 battle in which federal gunboats opened fire? Yes. I don't know. Let me read the question. What is the name of the July 19th, 1863 battle in which federal gunboats opened fire on Confederate cavalry led by General John Hunt Morgan. Buffington Island. You're absolutely correct. Okay, here we go. What is the name of the Marion County Covered Bridge? Yes, that is absolutely correct. Which West Virginian ran for president in 1932? Yes. Davis. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Which West Virginian ran for president? Yeah, yes ma'am. Harvey. That is correct. Okay, here we go. How many judicial circuits? Yes. I need an answer, please. Five. It's, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Yes ma'am. 31. You're absolutely correct. Who was Louisiana's third governor? Yes. Robertson. You're absolutely correct. What construction technology was invented? Yes. Uh, concrete paper. Uh, I, I con need more, uh, pardon me? The concrete machine, paper machine. I'm sorry, that's no. incorrect. Yes. Mechanical concrete. You're absolutely correct. Give him a big hand, you all. First round. Hands off the
Sorry, Gabby. Okay. Miss Sarah, are you still the captain? Yes, sir. Okay. You're going to get to go first. Reagan? Randall. <laughs> Do you know what my nieces call me, don't you? Uncle Randall. They are precious. Okay, so we know the most important thing here is I read the question once for the first team. If the second team wants it repeated, you say, Commissioner, would you please repeat the question? So, Miss Reagan, uh, Miss Sarah's going to go first. And, you know, for some reason they don't get the correct answer, you can steal it. Sarah, that works both ways. Sarah's the boss. She answers to everybody unless she designates. Reagan is the boss. She answers to everybody if they designate. And I feel like I've been here five minutes. I've had the best time today. You kids are great, and I really appreciate all the work you've done this year. And I know you always hear this. But just getting here makes each of you a winner to me. I mean, you set a goal, you achieved it, you made it. And I'm very, very proud of you all. And you all make me want to do my job a thousand times better. So thank you. Here we go. We ready? Hey, Susan, how are you? Oh my gosh, they must have brought you in to make sure I didn't make any mistake. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, Miss Sarah. In what present-day West Virginia County was the center of population? I designate Hunter. Hardy. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Reagan, in what present-day West Virginia County was the center of population in the United States located in 1830? I would have thought that too. Where? It's Grant County. How about this one? In what present-day West Virginia County was the center of population in the United States located in 1850? That's absolutely correct. I, so those are amazing. Okay, here we go, Sarah. Who was the author of Chronicles of Border War? I designate War Gathers. Yes, absolutely correct, Gabby. How about this one? What was the name of the West Virginia State professor who wrote the libretto for the opera? Oh, my gosh. Wanga? Wanga. Thank you. And I'm an opera singer, but I didn't do anything after Puccini, so there you go. Uh, point yellow three. Matthias. That's absolutely correct. How about this? Which Wayne County community was established in 1857 by abolitionist Eli Thayer? I designate Daniel. Cerrito. That is absolutely correct. How about this one, Reagan? In which community has the West Virginia Italian Heritage Festival been held since 1979? I need an answer, please. Clarksburg. That is absolutely correct. How about this one, Sarah? What is the name of the Parksburg native who has written books on the American West? I designate and, Gabby. New you're absolutely correct. What is the name of the Parksburg native who wrote the novel Fatal Light? Curry. That is absolutely correct. Turn the page. Name in order the two geographic regions that contain the highest and lowest points in West Virginia. I designate Daniel. The Allegheny Highlands and Potomac section. You're absolutely correct. Name in order the two geographic regions that contain the original and present state capitals of West Virginia. Ohio River Valley and Allegheny Plateau. You're absolutely correct. According to Billboard magazine, after Bill Withers saw. Gabby, go to the seat. <laughs> Congratulations. You didn't even let me sing. Okay, here we go. In connection with what structures was the Elkins Coal and Coke Company Historic District in Preston County given National Historic Landmark status? Beehive, Beehive Coke Ovens. You're absolutely correct. Sarah, what was the name of the Davis native who was known as America's Polka King? Doesn't doesn't You're absolutely correct. Uh, Reagan, what was the name of the Moundsville native who wrote the theme music for the television shows The Brady Bunch and My Three Sons? Five point yellow three. Duvall. That is absolutely correct. Sarah, according to a 1910 Supreme Court ruling, what determined the official northern boundary of West Virginia with Maryland? I designate Daniel. Mason-Dixon line. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Do you want me to read it again? Will you, will you read the question, please? According to a 1910 Supreme Court ruling, what determined the official northern boundary of West Virginia with Maryland? Uh, 
point, yellow four. Low water mark on the south bank of the Potomac River. You're absolutely correct. How about this? What causes the black looking water in Black Water Falls? Tannic acid. Yeah, tannins from decomposing hemlocks and red spruce needles. Okay, Sarah, what are the first two French and Indian War era forts known Almond's to have? Marlins Fort and Marlins Fort. You're absolutely correct. Uh, what two West Virginia counties were formed in 1842, Reagan? Need an answer. Do you want to try, Sarah? I designate Gabby. Wayne. Andrew. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> Which community served as the county seat of Cabell County from 1814 to 1860? Barbersville. It's my hometown. You know that, don't you? Thank you. Here we go, Reagan. Which community served as the county seat of Wyoming County from 1850 to 1907? Oshana. That is correct. How about this one, Sarah? Who was the first president of the West Virginia AFL-CIO? I designate Gabby. Miles Stanley. You're absolutely correct, Gabby. Uh, Reagan, which labor leader was considered by authorities to be the general of the Miner's Army in the Battle of Blair Mountain? Blizzard. That is absolutely correct. Sarah, which two counties were the most heavily forested in West Virginia in 2000? I designate Hunter. Webster and McDowell. You're absolutely correct, Hunter. Okay, turn the page. Oh, gosh. Can you stop that clock? <sighs> okay, here we go. Which two counties were the least heavily forested in West Virginia in 2000? Berkeley and Jefferson. You're absolutely correct. In 2016, this became the first site in West Virginia to be I designated. Designate Hunter. Hunter. You're absolutely correct. Uh, Reagan, what is the name of the roadway in north central West Virginia that was designated a national scenic byway in 2005? Salton Parkersburg Kirkman. You're absolutely correct. In 2008, Democratic presidential primary, how many counties did Hillary Clinton carry? Um, 34. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. 55. That's absolutely correct. In the 2016 presidential primary, how many counties did Hillary Clinton carry? Zero. That is absolutely correct. What is the name of the Beckley native who was nominated as the best supporting actor in 1975 for his role in the motion picture Dog Day Afternoon? I designate Gabby Sarandon. Very good. And the last question of the day to our new state champions from Cameron High School. What is the name of the Morgantown native who's best known for his acting roles on the television shows Dark Shadows and Falcon Crest? Point yellow three, Selby. Absolutely correct. You didn't let me down. Give him a big hand. You are amazing. Amazing. I am so proud of you. Please don't be hard on yourself, okay? I'm very, very proud of you. Very.